Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Comsol for Beginners. This series is being recreated in 2023 to generate more ideas, to transfer more information. This particular playlist will help you developing the basic ideas. If you are new to Comsol, I will recommend you watch the entire playlist. So in the last video, we discussed about the equations. In COMSOL, you have multiple physics. Under multiple physics, you actually solve multiple equations. Rather, I should call differential equations pertinent to a particular physical phenomenon. And those equations, how to tackle those equations, what are the terms signifying how you can modify equation in COMSOL, how one term can be added, deleted, all those things we have discussed in the previous video. I'll give the link of the entire playlist in the description box so that you can have further reading. So today we'll be discussing about boundary condition. Again, we can just take a 2D for example. Let us proceed with a heat transfer in solid module. And once this is added, we can go to study and we say we can take time dependent one again clicked on time dependent and then yeah the window has come now i'll just take an example say as we generally take say take some rectangle put some arbitrary height and uh, say the width yeah this is fine put some arbitrary material suppose we have been working with copper so it would be there in the recent library okay it is there i take copper solid copper here at the middle now i go to heat transfer so today topic is discussion about boundary condition now we have already talked about the nodes which are available in COMSOL like if you right click there, there are options to put temperature. This is a Dirichlet condition we talked about. We also talked about the heat flux, how to put heat flux in the previous videos. If you look into those videos, we have talked about flux boundary condition because when I call heat flux, it becomes specific. So for heat transfer problem, heat flux is important, but flux is important for any kind of problem. So you can have those uh, options under any physics in COMSOL. But today's discussion is about what if we have a complicated or real life boundary condition. Real life boundary condition means suppose you have this rectangular block. Now what you are doing is uh, at this end, for a particular time instant, you are putting some heat flux and then you are removing it. So this particular thing which I discussed that can be represented by a rectangular function or a Gaussian function. This can also be a kind of step function that means after a certain point of time, so after 5 seconds, there will be a constant heat flux up to infinite time or there could be a quick, I mean, pulse or an impulse of heat flux that is coming from the bottom end. So all those situations may arise when you solve your real life problem. Suppose you are working with electric field related problem. Now you want a situation where you just want to switch on the electric field for say 10 milliseconds. And after that, you don't want that because Suppose your electric field is creating some stresses on your system, maybe it's a fluid fluid interfacial system and when the electric field is on, you can have a deformation of the interface. Now you want that deformation should take place at your desired time and that's why you can go for a particular pulse function wherein say within 10 milliseconds you have a, you have a input. So this kind of situation may arise. So I'll just take uh, one temperature node and I'll show you how to incorporate those equations. So 
initially if it is a constant temperature you can directly put the value say 500 uh, celsius or 500 kelvin rather because uh, here the unit is in kelvin so but uh, suppose uh, what if this is a function then uh, it can be a function of say x that means uh, it is varying from here to here so maybe it is varying as a linear function so we can write this say 500 plus so y equal to mx plus c this kind of equation so 500 is the c and m into x that means some slope say 0.1 into x so this could be the expression so you can see there is an error yellow error showing and yellow error means your error with unit that means this particular equation has certain problem with the units that means the equation may not be dimensionally consistent so we know about the concept of dimensional consistent in a particular equation all the terms should have similar dimension and also the left hand side of an equation should have similar unit in reference to the right hand side unit otherwise you that could not be an equation so here what's happening 500 we have put this is a constant or unitless for the time being but when we are putting x this x means this coordinate along the horizontal direction so it is coming with its unit what is that unit the unit is centimeter so what you can do within a bracket box bracket you can just put 1 by the unit say centimeter so if you do it you can see uh, just a minute we can do it like this x into say 1 and the unit is 1 by centimeter let me check once okay actually uh, here the unit is in kelvin so it is basically looking for an unit which will have which will be in kelvin and that's why uh, the x is coming with an unit of centimeter so i have nullified this by uh, multiplying into one and say the unit is one by centimeter so this one by centimeter is nullifying the unit of x but it is expecting an unit k so you just write k here so it will be now dimensionally consistent so the equation is defined now i can put it here and say rest of the walls i can actually put at different temperatures say this three walls are at 400 kelvin or 350 kelvin say yeah uh, let us increase the slope somewhat so that we can visualize the change say the slope is 10 or even 100 now what we can do is yeah everything is defined i guess we can directly go for the simulation i click on the compute option it will start the simulation yeah it has started so you can see this is not symmetric anymore the temperature there is a profile of temperature you can see this is not a symmetric profile you have an asymmetry here so as you go down the line that means along the x direction the temperature is increasing because we have given such a boundary condition see uh, this color represent higher temperature so at the right you have higher temperature uh, if you even uh, increase the slope like if you increase the slope further you may visualize more change suppose i make it 400 now if i run the simulation you can see better difference yeah you can see the difference is better but the idea was how to 
put boundary conditions which is not constant values rather it is a function apart from that you can also put functions from the definition option i have created another video on this function i will put that link in the description box so that you can have cross check okay uh, but i will just show you how to use function once again so in the definition if you right click you will see the option function now uh, say i want a function kind this rectangular function like for a specific time interval there will be heat source and rest of the time there will be no heat source suppose i take this function and i want that uh, the function would be say of time i want uh, i am solving the equation for say 10 second and i want the heat to be input for say uh, 3 to 4 second only so i write here lower limit 3 and the upper limit 4 you can see 3 to 4 there is a rectangular function and this is a smoothing option this point 1 means you can see it has not just started from 3 it has just started uh, from somewhere around 2.9 this is point 0.1 that means 2.99 and also ended not ended exactly at 4 it ended at 4.1 so this is the thing uh, smoothing does if you make it higher you can realize yeah suppose this function we will be putting here in temperature expression so what you can do there is a name of the function which is rect1 so what we can write is say 500 into rect 1 say function of t to nullify the unit within third bracket 1 by second we can do it like this yeah you can see that means temperature is 500 but it will be acting from 4 to 5 second only 3 to 4 second only so let us run the simulation then you will realize so now we have to run it for 10 seconds because otherwise this rectangular function will not work so i have run the simulation it will take some time yes now let's see what happens say at t equal to 10 let me go to 0 second so you can see this is the temperature 0 to 350 so all the walls are kept at 350 and this is 0 y because you see the boundary condition what I am saying it should be 500 only at 3 to 4 second here it is defined 3 to 4 second so at one second it is and otherwise it is how, how much if you see the plot otherwise it is zero so up to 2.6 second around or 2.6 or 2.5 2.0 and this is 3 that means 2.8 or something so up to this your temperature should be zero so let me check from the solution 2. Point something 2.5 you see it is like this but still there is a gradient like this walls are kept at how much this walls are kept at 350 and the bottom is zero initially and that's why the profile is like this till 2.5 second now check what happens when we go say 3 seconds what will happen now this rectangular function will be acting and suddenly this temperature will become 500 let's see what happens you can see suddenly the temperature become higher so you can see the value is also increasing i'll show you once again at two second it was how much say 1.7 it was near to zero now after 
2.8 second, say 3 second, it is becoming 240. Now, if I go to 4 second, it will be acting like this 260. So, this temperature started arising at the very bottom and that's why you, uh, you are getting this sudden change because of this rectangular function. Now, what if you go beyond force again? So, again, uh, the temperature at the bottom will go down. I'll show you. So, suppose we are looking at uh, time 5 seconds. So, you can see again it is going down. So, this kind of boundary conditions can be added in your simulations via those options. I have already created a lot of videos on those analytical functions. I am putting those links in the description box. Kindly watch that video and then your concept will be totally clear and it will I mean you can be able to implement that knowledge for your simulation. Thank you.